What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going to go over the ultimate PvP guide for Beast Mastery Hunter. Beast Mastery Hunter is getting some insane buffs coming Tuesday, September 17th. The buffs will be up right here. I think they're going to be going from C tier to A tier. Both Survival and MM are much better than BM, but I think these buffs are going to be huge. BM is might be a contender again. It should at least jump up to low A tier. It's pretty bad right now, but these buffs are going to make it much, much better. So enough of that. Let's get right into the video. Alrighty, we're going to go over the Hunter talents first. I'm not going to go over every single talent, just super important ones. And the link will be in the description for the talent import. So let's get into it. You want Kodo Tranquilizer, so you remove one additional magic effect and up to two nearby enemies. And then you want to grab Roar of Sack, so you cannot be crit. You want Binding Shackles, so when you Binding Shot, High Explosive Trap, Implosion Trap, Incapacitate with Scatter Shot, or Stun with Intimidation, that person will deal 10% less damage for 8 seconds after this effect ends. So since now in War Within, you can grab Scatter, Intim, and Binding Shot, you can keep this up a lot more now before you could only have binding shot or in tim or scatter you couldn't have all three so that's a really good talent then you want keen eyesight for that crit strike chance increased by four percent you want to come and grab unnatural causes so your damage or time effects deal 10 percent increased damage this effect is increased by 50 percent on targets below 20 percent health you want high explosive trap especially against double melee cleave so you can get them off you much easier and as bm the thing about BM that makes it so good is that you never really have to stop moving. So this is just adds a little extra help if you need to get away from Fury Warriors, Assass Rogues, stuff like that. And then, so Emergency Salve, you want to grab this when you're playing against like Assassination Rogues and Unholy DKs because Turtling and Feign Deathing removes poisons and disease effects. It's not too big of a thing. It's more of a niche talent you want to run into against certain comps. You can get rid of Scrappy to grab this. Or if you don't like Scrappy, which casts Kill Command, reduces the cooldown of Intim and Binding Shot. I think this is actually a really good talent for BM because you're constantly casting Kill Command. And Kill Command is re getting reset by certain abilities in your beast mastery tree which we'll talk about later so i think scrappy is actually a talent you want to run you can get rid of improved traps if you want to grab emergency salve it just depends on what you're playing against but yeah it, emergency salve is actually a niche talent i just discovered this i thought it would be better it sounds better than it actually is but it is really good against like assass rogues unholy dk's frost dk's getting those diseases off you you can run explosive shot but i think for bm you just don't want to touch explosive shot so then you also want trigger finger so you and your pet have a five percent increased attack speed this is a massive massive w so that's going to do it for the hunter talents so let's move on to the beast mastery talent tree so we're going to be taking dire beast so it's a 20 second cooldown summons a powerful wild beast that attacks your target and roars increasing your haste by five percent for 10 seconds then we're gonna come over here obviously you want beast of wrath that's like your main burst and you want barbed wrath barb shot reduces the cooldown of beast of wrath by 12 seconds call of the wild which is kind of your main burst your two minute go you sound the call of the wild summoning two of your active pets for 20 seconds during this time a random pet from your stable will appear every four seconds to assault your target for six seconds then you want to grab blood frenzy so while call the wild is active your pets have the effect of beast cleave and each time call the wild summons a pet all your pets stomp so stomp is when you cast barb shot your pets stomp to the ground doing 32,000 physical damage to all nearby enemies alpha predator kill command now has two charges and deals 15 percent increased damage and then you want go for the throat kill command deals increased critical strike damage equal to 100% of your critical strike chance. Then you also want Savagery. Kill command damage is increased by 10% and barb shot lasts two seconds longer. So that's gonna do it for the Beast Mastery Tree. Like I said, the import will be in the description. Let's move on to Dark Ranger. So for BM, Dark Ranger fires a black arrow into your target dealing 576,000 cent shadow damage over 18 seconds. Each time black arrow deals damage, you have a 10% chance to generate a charge of barb shot. And barb shot, it fires and tears through your target, causing them to bleed for 10 seconds and increases your critical strike chance by two percent for 10 seconds stacking up three times it also sends your pets into a frenzy increasing your attack speed by 35 percent for 10 seconds stacking up three times it also generates 20 focus over eight seconds so overshadow barb shot and kill command deal 20 percent increased damage 
Then you want Shadow of Hounds. Each time Black Arrow deals damage, you have a 10% chance to manifest a Dark Hound to charge your target and deal shadow damage. Grab Death Shade. When you apply Black Arrow to your target, you gain the Hunter's Prey effect. You want Dark Empowerment. When Black Arrow resets the cooldown of an ability, you gain 15 focus. You want Smoke Screen, obviously. So you Exil grants you three seconds of survival of fittest, which is your wall. And Survival of the Fittest activates Exhilaration at 50% effectiveness which also activates Rejuvenating Wind. So you want to go here and grab Dark Change. Disengage will chain the closest target to the ground, causing you to move 40% slower until they move 8 yards away. Shadow Lash. When Call of the Wild is active, Black Arrow deals damage 50% faster. You take Shadow Surge. Uh, you don't really care about this talent uh, right now, but it is getting changed, obviously, when the 20th anniversary of WoW comes out around October 20th. So we'll talk about that in a later video. Darkness calls all shadow damage. You and your pet deals increase by 10%. And then for the last talent, Dark Ranger, that you're guaranteed is Withering Fire. When Black Arrow resets the cooldown of Barb Shot, a barrage of Dark Arrows will strike your target for shadow damage and increase the damage you and your pet deal by 10% for 6 seconds. So like I said, this Dark Ranger tree is getting reworked in like a month. But this is what you're going to be running for now. Go over to the PvP talents. Survival Tactics, obviously. Feign Death reduces the damage taken by 90% for 3 seconds. This is a must talent. You never want to not run this talent in PvP. We got Kindred Beast. Command Pets unique ability. Cooldown reduced by 50% and gains additional effects. So Master Call. Instead of it being 45, it's 23 seconds. And then you want Diamond Ice. Usually because you have Call of the Wild and Blood Frenzy, which like cleaves and stomp cleaves. So Diamond Ice is usually what you want to run as your third talent. So victims of your freezing trap no longer be, can be damaged or healed. Freezing trap is now undispellable, but has a five second duration instead of six. Okay. You can also, instead of running diamond ice or kindred, uh, you can switch between kindred beast and diamond ice. You can run the beast within against like locks and, and priests that people can fear your pets. And so your, while beast of wrath is active, your pet is immune to fear or horrify effects for you and your pet for eight seconds. You also can run chimeral sting. So you get that. Reduce movement speed, a silence, and reduces damage and healing done by 20%. But that's pretty much going to do it for the PvP talents. Those are the ones you can interchange. But like I said, you probably want to be running these three right here mostly. Now that we've gone over the talents, let's kind of go over the gear slash set bonus. So for your set bonus as BM, Barb Shot further increases your pet attack speed by 5%. This is nerfed in PvP by 50%. And then for your four set, your pet's attacks have a 10% chance to increase all damage. You deal by 10% for 10 seconds. This is reduced to a 5% chance in PvP. So you definitely want to run four set for BM Hunter. Alrighty, so let's talk about stat priority for Beast Mastery Hunter in Season 1. So for first, you want Agility. Agility is your number one best stat. Then we're going to come over here and grab Verse at least 20%. For the start, you because if you don't have enough Verse, you're going to take a lot more damage. A verse also increases your damage done and but decreases your damage taken okay then we're going to come over here and grab haste around 20 percent and then we're going to grab mastery and then verse over 25 percent and then we can grab a little more haste around 22 percent and then the last thing you're going to worry about for bm is crit because haste increases your attack speed and focus regen and mastery increases your damage done by your pet so honestly i feel like you could do a little combination of both but maybe focus a little more towards haste and then mastery because mastery does increase your damage done by your pet i'm not entirely sure which one is completely better i think it might be best to just go haste and balance it with mastery as well so it just depends on what year you have like i said my stats right now on this character are for mm so that's why there I have a lot more mastery. But as BM, you have more mastery in general. It's just how it works for Beast Mastery. But I think those are the way your stats are going to run. And you should go around based on that. But make sure you have enough verse. At least around 20 to 25% verse. So you're doing more damage, but you're also taking less damage. And as BM, I feel like you do take less damage regardless because you're constantly moving and you can easily peel yourself and keep that consistent pressure because you don't have to really stop doing, stop moving to do damage like MM does. Alrighty, let's talk about crafted gear. So crafted gear is pretty much going to be the same through all three specs of MM. 
you're going to be crafting the Agari competitor gear. So right now I have a neck and two rings. And for this crafted gear, the embellishment you want to throw, the two embellishments you want to throw on is the elemental focusing lens. So your spells and abilities have a chance to deal bonus magic damage. This chosen school is based on your socketed gems. Okay. So I'm pretty sure it doesn't go based off your your big gem, your prismatic gem for the war within. I think it goes based off like your haste and mastery gems, which I don't currently have because to get gems and slots on your gear, you got to spend a lot of gold and honor to get these things, right? Because the bloody stones cost 2,500 honor, but you also can buy them on the AH for 14k gold. But you need three uh, bloodstones. And you need 5,000 honor to buy your socket, right? Now let's go over enchants and gems for Beastmaster on here. So for your boots, you're going to throw on the Scout's March. Firmly enchants a pair of boots with Scout Swiftness, increasing speed by 250. For your bracers, you want Chant of Armored Speed. Firmly enchants bracers with Ancient Magic, the chance with the power, granting 1,000 speed. Then for your cloak, you want Chant of Burrowing Rapidity. Firmly enchants your cloak with Ancient Magic, the chance with the power, granting 250 speed. For your chest, you want Storm Rider's Agility. Firmly enchants your chest piece, increasing your agility by 520 and your speed by 2. 50 or your legs you want stormbound armor kit apply our stoneborn armor kit to your leg armor causing it to permanently gain 930 agility additionally the item also gains 895 stamina if you don't want to run stormbound armor kit which is a little cheaper than defender's armor kit you can run defender's armor kit if you have the more gold to your leg armor permanently increasing agility by 930 and additionally the item also gains a 980 armor so you have a choice between armor or stamina whichever one you want to choose probably armor might be better you can have that choice between your leg and chance or your rings you have two choices you have radiant haste which permanently enchants the ring with 315 haste or cursed mastery which increases your ring by 315 mastery so those are your two choices for enchants for rings for your weapon you have two choices you have stonebound artistry which enchants your weapon and giving it thir a chance to proc 3910 mastery for 12 seconds but the best in slot but the more expensive is authority of radiant permanently enchants the weapon with the authority of radiant power dealing damage that has a chance to call upon the authority smiting your target for not 198k radiant damage and temporarily increasing your primary stat which is agility by 2230 so this is the one you want but i wouldn't throw this on until you have your conquest weapon from week two from the conquest quest let's go over the gems for more haste you want versatile emerald which gives you 147 haste and 49 verse or the masterful emerald which gives you 147 haste and 49 mastery for a verse you have the quick sapphire which gives you 147 verse and 49 haste or the Masterful Sapphire, which gives you 147 Verse and 49 Mastery. For more Mastery, you have the Quick Onyx, which gives you 147 Mastery and 49 Haste. Or you have the Versatile Onyx, which gives you 147 Mastery and 140 and 49 Verse, excuse me. And then for your Prismatic Gem, the main gem that's going to be running on your gear is the Enduring bloodstone the enduring bloodstone adds 181 primary stat and five percent damage reduction when affected by crowd control so anytime you're cc'd or stunned and you're being attacked you will take five percent less damage there is no cooldown on this it is always on so i think this is a the one you should be running for all specs of hunter but for bm2 depending on what stat you need to increase these are the gems you can choose from but let's move on to the macros all the macros will be in the link in the description that will take you to a paste bin so you don't have to worry about copying them from the video you can just copy them from paste bin and paste them into the game i also have a focus concussive shot i have a focus counter shot i have a feign death macro that stops my uh, casting and it also stops my pet from attacking in case i need to re-stealth and put it puts them on passive and then i also have a focus intimidation a focus scatter shot a focus train shot i have a kill command macro that makes my pets attack it's claw bite smack and cast savage rend savage rend is mortal wounds so that uh, applies grievous wounds to the target reducing the effectiveness of any healing received for 10 seconds so this applies to 50 percent so as a beast mastery hunter you want to run a mortal wound pet which is basically an undead raptor a rodent or a river beast so if you're playing against a ret you probably don't want to run an undead raptor because it can be stunned by wake of ashes but otherwise you can run a river beast or a rodent against a ret 
mostly a rodent would probably be better because it still has mortal wounds and you want to keep a mortal wound pet because even if your teammate has mortal strike it doesn't mean that they can always have uptime and your pet is easier to have uptime on a target and you want to keep mortal wounds active as much as possible it not only has a six second cooldown and it lasts 10 seconds so it's basically up all the time if your pet is attacking the target you want to kill because you want them to receive less healing so undead raptor is probably your main pet as beast mastery hunter for mortal wounds against the ret run a rodent you don't want to run exotic beasts because they don't have mortal wounds right so another macro i have is my kill shot macro so this has my pet attack stop casting it uh, can cancel my turtle so if i need to turtle and then cancel it instantly to like absorb an attack and then to keep doing damage i have that it does like bite claw and savage rend it does all of that and then i have party one for master call and party two and then i have party one for sack and party two for sack and then I also have self sack macros and a self sack, or excuse me, a self master's call to get me out of roots. So not too many insane macros for a beast master hunter. Like I said, there will be a link in the description that will take you to a pastebin so you can copy them into the game. So let's go over the basic rotation for beast mastery hunter. So down here I have a add on that's going to show you what I'm clicking and I will be saying what I'm clicking to help you guys get this basic rotation down, okay? So you have Black Arrow, right? That's your hero talent. So you can start off with Black Arrow, then you can click Barb Shot once, double kill command, hit Beast of Wrath into Call of the Wild, Barb Shot, spam kill command off cooldown, use your kill shot procs, use Cobra Shot to reset the cooldown of kill command, and use Barb Shot to gain focus and to gain that crit effect and attack speed on your pets. So you want to spam kill command off cooldown, use barb shot to gain focus and attack speed, and use cobra shot to reset the cooldown of kill command, use your kill shot off cooldown, and you just spam these abilities over and over again, and barb shot also reduces the cooldown of your beast of wrath by 12 seconds, so you want to be doing that, so you have beast of wrath back up again, because that is your big damage, and you want to try to keep this rotation going as much as as possible and you usually won't run out of focus and you will keep that constant pressure and like i said tuesday september 17th bm is getting massive buff which is actually tomorrow but this video will be posting on the 17th so bm is going to be doing a lot more damage so that's going to do it for the basic rotation like i said be casting barb shot to gain that crit attack speed and reduce the cooldown of beast of wrath Spam kill command off cooldown, use your black arrow off cooldown, use your kill shot procs, right? Use your dire beast, so you gain that haste, you gain that 5% haste for 10 seconds, and it's only a 20 second cooldown. Your big burst is call of the wild, so you gain the beast cleave, and you gain stomp, and your pets just do an insane amount of damage, and it brings random pets from your stables to attack your target. And use your CC on the healers or on other DPS you need to peel. But like I said, BM, you're always constantly moving and doing consistent damage. And that's just going to be even stronger in PvP come Tuesday. All right. Which is technically today when this video is being posted. I believe we hit every category I needed to address. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions. If I need to clarify anything, if I miss something, let me know. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Hit the like button, hit the sub button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.